I need a deep breath. I am red hot right now. Smith versus Tixera just ended. I am not sure this is a good time to make a video. I am disgusted. I am disgusted. There was two 10-8 rounds, and the, and the fifth round would have been a 10-8 round, which would constitute three 10-8 rounds in a row, which has never happened in the history of combat, ever. Not in boxing or in MMA have you had three 10-8 rounds in a row. Why? Because somebody would have got their athlete the hell out of there. That's why. Somebody would have stopped that fight. I don't know who's to blame here. For, for some reason, I am not putting it on the referee. For some reason. Referee gave him every opportunity. Referee seeing it from a different angle. Referee's up uh, up close. Referee is speaking, being spoken back to in some fashion. Generally speaking, I am trusting that that happened in this place, though I cannot prove it. How does a corner not stop the fight? You do not stop the fight when your athlete can no longer move. You stop the fight when your athlete can no longer win. Which only comes from two things. One of two things. He got injured or he's exhausted. Either way, those aren't fixable in the moment, and you don't leave him out there to toughen him up. And no other sport would that even be expected. If LeBron gets hurt right now, LeBron hits the bench right now. If Manning gets hurt right now, Manning hits the bench right now. In any other sport, that's the way it works. You go out there, you prove your point. Well, you got to be a tough guy? You didn't think taking your shirt off in front of the world and stepping into a steel cage with another man proved that you were a tough guy? What was that? His ear explodes. Anthony Smith's ear explodes from a cauliflower. He's cut on both sides. He balled up out of exhaustion and, by the way, some pain, some damage that was done to him. The referee tried to talk to him in between rounds. He walked away from a referee. That's a signal. If I'm fighting and the referee comes to talk to me and I don't say a word, I turn and walk away like I don't hear him, I'm sending a signal to my tag team partner to get me to the back. He goes to the corner. He tells his corner he's bleeding out of every, everywhere. He's completely exhausted. And then he shares with his corner, my teeth are falling out. These are signals. And nobody thought to get him the hell out of there? He's exhausted. I could see it from West Lynn, Oregon on my couch. They were there. How is the outcome any different? Oh, I stopped the fight. Anthony lost. Okay, send him back in there with absolutely no energy. Oh, and by the way, bleeding out of everything and teeth falling out of his mouth. He's going to lose. The result is the same, but we could save him 12 minutes. That was disgusting. That was that that was absolutely disgusting. That nobody helped him. What is it you see as your job to tell him to throw a jab? You don't think the, the, the top contender of the world knows to throw a jab? Was your job to bring him some what your job is to get him home in one piece? You got one job. To explain why this happened, to explain why we got to this level of exhaustion was very easy to see. Anthony came out and fought a style that he has never fought before. If you go back and you were to do a punch count, okay, strikes with the fist, the kicks, the knees, the elbow, if you were to go back and do a strike count of output that Anthony Smith did in the first round of his fight tonight with Glover Teixeira, and you put that number against any number of any round of any fight Anthony has ever had, the first round and the output is going to beat any other output of any other round two to one. He was so busy. He was pumping this jab nonstop with the jab, landing front kicks, lead knees, coming with elbow, bum, 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 bum. I mean, he was touching Glover up. It wasn't a terrible strategy. I thought he looked great. But when you come out and you do double the output, you're going to do it for half the time. It's pretty simple damn math right there. So he needed a finish. He was looking for a finish. It looked at many times like he was going to get it. It looked like, wow, this plan's going to work out just great. But when it doesn't work out, your gas tank is now empty. That's simply what happened. This was an experiment. Anthony has never done that level of output before. He looked great. But you can only do it for so long. He's still a human being. 
He's trained to the highest of levels for many years. He's been a main event fighter. He's been a world title contender. He's been in the prime peak of his physical conditioning many times, and he could not sustain that output. So why would tonight in Florida be any different? That's fine. I'm not mad at his strategy. I thought he looked great. But when the strategy to get the guy the hell out of here doesn't work, it's like Mike Tyson famously said, and don't ever forget these words, if you look for a finish, you are not going to win a decision. If you try for the knockout, you will not win a decision. It's true. You have to choose. Now, Glover, the KG veteran that he was, goes, okay, kid. You came out here to steal this first round. Looks like you're going to do it. I'm just going to conserve my energy. That's what happened. Glover threw the first round away. Now, all of a sudden, he's got a full gas tank. I'm not sure Anthony didn't win the second round, too. We'll have to see what the judges said. I'm not sure that he did it. But by the third round, there was just simply nothing left. It was just as simple as that. There was just nothing left. The biggest fear of a combat athlete is not losing. His biggest fear is exhaustion. His biggest fear is that he will find himself in combat where he needs to protect himself and he doesn't have the energy to do it. When Anthony was confronted with that, not to mention hurt, not to mention he's in there with Glover Teixeira, who's a straight-up hammer, a hammer from a different generation, and he can no longer move because he's exhausted, get him home. Get him home. Get him out of there. He's not going to flick it. He had many opportunities to lift his neck up two inches, let a rear naked come in and get out of there. He's not going to do it. He had many opportunities to tell the referee or tell the court, he's not going to do it. And it, frankly, it's not his job. There's other adults in the room. It was their job. 